Hello Libra and welcome to my channel Tarot by Gabrielle. This is going to be a general reading for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs, looking at your connection to the person that you are dealing with and needing to learn the most from right now. We're looking at all three sides of the connection. We've got your energy toward it, their energy toward it, and the energy in between it. The concept being that there are three sides to every story. So looking at your version of the truth, their version of the truth, and this higher level unbiased truth in the middle, really looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. As always, I've gone ahead and pulled the overall energy for the reading and clarified those messages, but I have a different tarot deck I'll be using for each side of this connection, as well as um, the advice deck already shuffled that I'll be using in the extended. Any information on the extended reading or on booking a personal reading with me is in the description box below. Last thing, please remember these are general readings. They're not here to resonate fully for everyone. So do remember to take what resonates and helps your personal situation and leave what does not. On that note, these energies can absolutely be swapped. So if you resonate more with the energy to my right than to my left, just know that is totally fine and totally normal. The point, again, of these readings is for, for you to take what helps and to leave what doesn't. All right, Libra, on your side of this connection, you have fire with the Ten of Swords. Um, this connection caused a lot of pain for you with the Ten of Swords here. Um, and with the fire energy, you are still quite angry about it, I actually feel. Um, I know that that's not always what fire energy means, and sometimes it can be action. And um, But the way that I'm reading this fiery energy is there's still this intense emotion that you have toward this connection and, and get an anger. Anger, um, frustration, and, and it makes sense, right? Hurt can often manifest as as anger. And so I do feel that um, whether or not you want to be done with this connection and moved on from this, there's still something that needs to be learned in order for you to move forward from this so that you don't repeat this cycle in the form of another connection. Um, now, this person, they have release with the Ten of Wands. Now, I feel like I'm getting this release card. Is this person just kind of like, it seems like they like either you cut them off or they cut you off. I don't know. But since the release of this connection, it just feels like there are all of the, it's like you've been left to pick up the pieces. That's what it feels like. It like I just feel like they tried to move on. They tried to, um, you know, trying to maybe they're in a new connection or, and I'm not saying that's the case, but it just feels like they've kind of, you know, they did you dirty and then just kind of tried to pick up and move on with their life. And I feel like that's why there's this sense of anger here is because, you know, they're, and I feel like that baggage became your pain and they kind of, it seems like to you that they got off kind of um, without having to, to bear any of the pain that they caused. But I don't think that's necessarily the case because in between this connection and this, I feel like goes for both sides, you have jealousy with the four of pentacles in reverse. Um, so I do kind of feel like this is like rug ripped out from underneath you kind of energy world turned upside down, but this jealousy card, I feel like this goes both ways. I feel like you're sensing this jealousy of this person because again, it just feels like they, you know, did what they did to you and then are just kind of like, we're just able to just like move on or leave your life without having to deal with any of what you're, you know, you're having to, to pick up the pieces of. But I also feel like there's a little bit, um, coming from this person to almost like, like they're jealous of who you are. And that's why I don't like jealous maybe of your ability to be emotionally available, of your ability to love, of your ability to be, um, of your intelligence or your empathy. I don't know. Like there's something, something going on there, which we'll get more of when we dive into tarot. But let's start Libra. By looking at your side of this connection, you have fire with the Ten of Swords. This is Libra's side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. This is for Libra's side of this connection, please. This is for Libra's side of this connection, please. What Libra needs to know regarding their side of this connection. See, I feel like, yeah, you are. You're still trying to pick up the pieces from this. Because this was very much world flipped upside down kind of energy, how this connection affected you. And I feel like it's like with the four of pentacles upright, it's like you're trying to rebuild and recover from this connection. And I feel like it's actually really important that you do fully heal from this before you try to move forward into another connection. I feel like that's why this connection is still coming up in your energy. Um, 
because I do still feel like there is um, some healing that needs to to be done because I mean any kind of energy that puts you in this queen of pentacles and reverse energy it's it's hard it's challenging it will you know that that's feeling unsafe it's feeling uncertain it's feeling unsecure um you know not sure how you're going to be okay or if you're going to be okay or when you're going to be okay and that kind of energy is very difficult to um pull yourself out of and so especially if someone um and their treatment was the reason that you ended up in that kind of energy it can be really hard to um, to close the the cycle for good, and sometimes if we you know if we don't focus on trying to close the cycle, that can appear in our energy um, again in the form of other situations or connections. All right, Libra side of this connection, clarifying fire with the Ten of Swords. One more. This is Libra side of this connection, please. Seven of Cups in reverse with the moon in reverse. I feel like... The way that you were kind of left after this connection, because I do feel like this is a past connection. It could be one you're currently dealing with, so bear with me. But um, it's almost like you weren't able to even understand how you feel. It's like, like I almost feel like there's this energy of maybe you, you kind of shut down after this connection happened because of how intense everything was. Like, it's like you kind of like like uh like I think turtle going into shell, like went into self protection mode, which is making it hard for you to kind of fully work through here. But you're working through a lot of fear because I feel like this connection brought up a lot of fear and insecurity for you. This is Libra's side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. So there's that fear. Okay, with the seven of wands in reverse. Could have been dealing with a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, but we also have earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So take it as it resonates. Um, I feel like, you know, this connection, it kind of has made you, made you doubt yourself. It's almost like you don't trust yourself in some way because of how things happened. It's like, this connection actually added a lot of fear for you in your life because sometimes when someone else hurts us, we think that our anger and frustration is at them. And though they're, you know, absolutely, there's going to be anger and frustration directed at the person who hurt us. But a lot of that anger and frustration is also directed at ourselves because sometimes we can be like, well, you know, why did I let this person treat me this way for so long? Why, you know, how did I let this happen? Where, how did I not see the red flags? Like, how did I, how did I not see the signs or um, whatever the case is? And so it's almost like whether or not you realize that you're still trying to, you're still in like a recovery period of this connection. You're still trying to get back to yourself. You're trying to find and regain the sense of self that I feel like this connection took from you and maybe you have been able to close the door and move on and maybe you've you know you have rebuilt yourself since this connection happened and if you have then that's fantastic and that's huge because that's a very difficult thing to do but with this fire energy I still feel like there's this underlying sense of anger that you still hold toward this person now um you know, anger is, is very healthy and very natural and it has its place for sure. Um, but it can also consume us. And when we, when we get deeply hurt by someone and that does turn into anger, if we let it consume us, that person in an indirect way starts having, continues to have control over us. And I feel like you're tired of this person having control over you. 
And so I feel like there's a lot more um, to this situation than you're able to fully see. This is Libra's side of this connection. Libra's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Because it feels like you can't get back to the sun. Like this sun, I feel like, is maybe how you felt your life was before this connection. Maybe you felt like you were in a better place. Um, it just feels like you can't get back to how things were before this connection happened. But the thing is, is I don't think you're ever going to get back to the person that you were before this connection happened. And I actually think that that's a good thing. Because I think that the strength that you're going to acquire through the healing of this is actually going to be what helps you move forward in a way that you wouldn't be able to if this connection hadn't happened. Because it feels like you're stuck in the moon. You're working through the moon. You're working through the darkness, if you will, that this connection has placed in your life. It's like, it's like you have this rain cloud, this storm kind of that's... Um, that hasn't made its way, that you haven't been able to fully move through yet. And I feel like there's a lot of anger for how difficult it has been for you to move on and heal from this, especially if this, if it seems like this person was able to just like, you know, move on and be fine, which I think we'll find isn't actually the case. This is Libra's side of the connection to the person they are dealing with. It's like you have a right to be angry, but you don't want that anger to consume you. This is Libra's side of this connection. Four of swords in reverse and the moon. Because your soul's tired of this darkness. You're tired. You're burnt out from the darkness and the, the everything that this connection has brought to your life. But there, there's got to be a reason why it's still showing up in your energy, right? So let's get more. I want more on this message. Because there's got to be a reason why that's the case. Because I feel, yeah, it's like this brought so much fear and pain into your energy. It's like you want something... Huh. Because there's the Ten of Swords again. The Ten of Cups in reverse. You want to move forward. You want to leave this behind. I do. I feel maybe not all of you. You definitely want to feel better than how you feel right now. But. It kind of feels like you're supposed to be exactly where you are right now with this. You will rebuild. And your time for justice will come. But right now, there's this need to, to heal. And to, to heal, you got to feel, right? You've got you've to work through all of the ways that you feel, including this like fiery, angry energy that I'm, I'm picking up on. This is Libra's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. I just wanted to shuffle this last message. This is Libra's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with. Libra's side of this connection to the person they are dealing with, please. Libra's side of this connection. See, because, yeah, you saw... A lot of potential in this person. And again, you could have been dealing with a water sign with the King of Cups. You saw a lot of potential. You saw this as your Ten of Cups. You saw this long term, what this could be. And I feel like you really thought that this person was going to be a part of your life forever. And what you were left with is this Ten of Swords. 
Yes. And so I feel like you what you what you're having a hard time understanding is how this person was able to do this to you cuz like oftentimes when people hurt us especially people that we love love um we can often you know feel like well I don't see how they could do this to me cuz I would never do this to them. When in reality what happened and I feel like we'll see this when we dive in over here I feel like it has a lot less to do with you than you think. I feel like there's a lot more going on with this person than you think. So let's see. Let's see. What is this person dealing with? You have release with the Ten of Wands. This person's energy toward Libra. This person's energy toward Libra. This person's energy toward Libra, please. See, with the Nine of Swords and the Ten of Swords, they do think about the way they hurt you. They do stress about it. With the Nine of Swords. It might not look like it to you, and they might be too prideful to admit it, but yeah, because there's the Ten of Wands. I feel like they know, they know they hurt you. And with the Nine of Swords, yeah, it's like they do think about it, they do stress about it. So it might seem like they're all like moved on and fine, but I don't think, I think there's more, again, like I said, I think there's more to that than you realize because they know. They know what they did. I actually want this nine of swords. I don't feel like they meant to hurt you, Libra. This person's energy toward Libra. This person's energy toward Libra. I mean, these are two energies, so this is like immaturity, and this is emotional immaturity or emotional unavailability. It's that, it's not that they meant to hurt you, it's that they were incapable of showing up in this like, like you needed. They weren't in a place to be able to give you what it is that you deserved. So I don't necessarily think it's not that they saw the potential. I don't think it's that at all. I think that they just didn't have like the capacity to handle this. Like, yeah, it's like they, they just, they were immature in this. They didn't handle it well. I mean, look at this. This is all four. So these were what came out, right? Page of Cups, Page of Pentacles in reverse, Page of Swords in reverse, and Page of Wands in reverse. Like, that's a lot of just, like, young, immature kind of energy um, coming out at once here. It's almost like... And that's not an excuse. That doesn't excuse this person's behavior, but... It can definitely make it feel less personal whenever we can understand that when people hurt us, it has a lot less to do with us than it may seem. This person's energy toward Libra. They're actually quite frustrated with the way that they handled this. The actions that they took. Could be dealing with a fire sign. Um, but at this point, I'm pretty sure we've seen all the signs, so. I feel like they're actually quite frustrated with, yeah, the action that they took in this, the way that they handled this. They might be too prideful to ever tell you that, though. I feel like they have regrets. 
that doesn't mean that they're going to come back. That doesn't mean that that's going to, that means any, that, that all that means is that they recognize how they hurt you, which is a good thing. Now, a lot of this could be happening subconsciously and they're shoving it down and trying to distract themselves from it. That could be something too, but you can only run from that for so long. This person's energy toward Libra. This person's energy toward Libra, please. It's like they're determined to leave this in the past. They're determined to leave it behind. But I feel like that's been a little bit more difficult for them than they would like it to be. So if they have started a new relationship or it feels like they have moved on or they're just not affected by this, that's not true. Um, but you may never hear that from them. But you don't need that. You don't need anyone's apology to heal. When you feel you need someone's apology to heal, what you're saying is that you need them to validate the pain that they caused. You know they hurt you. You don't need them to know that they hurt you. Because if they came to you tomorrow and were like, oh, Libra, I'm so sorry that I hurt you. I recognize that I hurt you. You know what you're going to say? Yeah, you did. And that doesn't take away my pain. Cool that you noticed it. Hope you grow. But I'm still gonna be. Ha I'm still gonna have to pick up these pieces. It's not gonna heal you. It might make you feel better for a second. It might be an ego win, but it's not gonna heal you. You don't need anyone's apology in order to heal. You need to tap into the inner strength that you know you have in order to heal, and and that will take you so much further than looking for someone else to help you heal. This person's energy toward Libra. This connection pushed them out of their comfort zone and they didn't know how to handle it. You weren't what they're used to. I feel like you challenged them. You made them, you, 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 you know, you, you pushed them into new territories, to new limits. And I feel like they didn't like that. They didn't know how to, how to handle that. So they just... sabotaged and and that's why it's like their baggage right them not knowing how to love how to be vulnerable their emotional and availability their ten of wands their baggage became your ten of swords and on some level they know that they know that they know how they hurt you they have regrets but you don't want this person back. You might think you do, some of you, but you deserve so much better than this. And you will be able, if you can heal from this, you will be able to receive better than this too. This person's energy toward Libra. So that's interesting. We saw the, because this, we saw the burnt, the being burned out with the moon here. So this is alluding to your energy and this ten of swords. So what about this person? So you're, I mean, you're burnt out from this. Yeah, but getting through this, literally, this separation, two of cups in reverse with the world, is helping you complete a pretty major cycle. The loss of this connection is happening for you. You might not be able to see it yet. You might want to punch me in the face for saying that, um, especially if you're hurting as bad as this shows. And maybe you're trying not to face that hurt. Maybe you're just trying to move forward, push forward, find a new connection. Um, I highly recommend not doing that or, or because if you don't fully close the door on this, um, it's your life. Do what you, you think is best and know is best, right? I'm not here to tell anybody to do anything. But if you don't close the door on these painful lessons, they will come up again. They will repeat. Um, and there's a reason that this is still in your energy. There's there's a door here that needs to be closed, a lesson that needs to be learned, a, a, 
a, a, like almost like a sense of closure that you need to give yourself so that you can move forward um, with peace instead of with anger. Because yeah, there's still, it's like their energy toward you is actually, it's like trying to, to close a pretty big, pretty big cycle here. Let's look at the truth of this connection. We're going to hop on over to the extended. Um, we have jealousy with the four of pentacles in reverse. I'm going to pull nine different messages. And then I have an advice card to pull at the end. This middle section is looking at what is the purpose of this connection and what is the best way for you to move forward in order to align further with your higher self. Any information on that is in the description box below. Thank you so much, Libra, as always, for your support of my channel. I do hope that this reading helped and resonated with you in a way that you were needing today. And as always, Libra, I wish you nothing but love and healing on your journey moving forward. Bye, Libra.